Hello and ooh, voice crack. <laughs> oh my god. Hello and welcome back to Dongan Rampa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. In this episode, we are going to face off against Monica for the very first well, not really the very first time, but we're gonna try and beat her mech, the mage. Mage? Yeah, because we faced off against the sage before. Okay. Jeez. The atmosphere in here is practically screaming final boss fight. Yep. Toko? We're gonna be alright, aren't we? We've come this far already. Don't go freaking out now. They should be scared of us. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. After all, we're a powerful team. Wait, powerful team? Can't you think of a cooler name than that? Well, then you think of one. You're the ultimate writing prodigy, after all. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll think of something after the happy ending. Yeah, after the happy ending. I guarantee that we're gonna be that she's gonna call us the Ultra Despair Girls or something, or the Ultra Hope Girls or something like that. Okay, fine then. I open the door myself. And we open this. Hey, hey, so you finally decide to show up, huh? So slow. This isn't a manga. It shouldn't take a whole year for a day to pass. Uh, it's pronounced manga. A black monokuma? What is he? He looks vulgar. Why is that word used so much in this game? Vulgar. And why specifically that? Hey, fuck off, four eyes. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't expect some pasty four eyes emo chick to understand my charm. I get no respect. Yo, I'm so baller. If a professional musician ever came to my concert, they'd retire the next day. Okay. I'd make them choke on the haterade. And you're gonna be choking too when I'm done with you. Ugh. I hope this person requested to be paid more too. What is this thing? Blabbering on with its nonsense. Could it? Does it have an AI like Shirakuma? Did you say Shirakuma? So you know him, huh? How's little bro doing? Hmm. So you know of Shirakuma's existence. Brothers? Well, he's like a brother. We bear folks stick together, you know. But that ain't important. Don't you think it's strange, huh? Weird? I'm talking about why Monica ain't here. To tell you the truth, it's nap time for little Monica. Nap time? Oh well, yeah, she's still a kid after all. She wore herself out being all hyped up. What? What is this? Gotta be the room with the ramp accessible, the green hair. But there's only three rooms. Where's the other two? If you're brave enough chicks to disturb her nap, you can always try opening the door. Which door? Hell if I know. Monica made this little trap to keep out big mouths like me, see? If you open the wrong door, blammo! Instant dust! <clears throat> Hello, nasty! But if you leave a bee, she'll sleep for like three years! Now what you what you gonna do? Hurry, choose! Damn it, you're making me impatient! Kamaru, you've seen that Monica kid before, right? Yeah. So, what do you think? Any idea which door she would choose? The green one. Hmm. Rather than choose, it's more like, which would she even be able to access? But it can't be that simple. He said it's a trap, so it can't be easy. Y yeah, you're right. Are you sure? If you solve this quiz, you won't get to hear all the bitchin' lines I worked on. Well, that didn't work. I would think green. But. Hmm. Oh. Uh... Nope, I can't even try this one. Green hair, weird. Uh, the title of voice of a generation hasn't been taken yet, so I think I'll 
Take it. Thank you. And wheelchair accessible makes me think. Damn it! I can't get these copyrighted songs out of my head. I'm bugging out. Makes me think this one, but. Who knows? Victory! And that's the end of the third arc! Mm hmm. Okay, if your hearts are running now, don't push yourself and put faith in. Yeah, okay. I was thinking maybe the same thing. Uh, the. She can still use her legs to help her up, but... There's no harm in trying. What a seat. If one of these doors is correct, we have a one in three chance of getting it right. Don't rely on probability. Think about it. Just smack your head and remember. Hitting my head might make me forget. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I at least made the wrong choice to be able to see this. Right. That might be a clue. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm at least glad that I was able to see, like, there was extra stuff added in for that. Come on, stop taking this so seriously and help me come up with ways we can combine together. <laughs> Ew. Hey, Monica? What the? Good morning! Good morning! So, was the thing with her father and brother a lie? Taiji's line. I knew it. You can stand. Your legs aren't paralyzed. Oh? But you look at that. You're totally right. And you were like that from the beginning, right? You just pretended to be disabled. Uh, don't tell me. You saw my secret room, didn't you? Uh, maybe. So that was your room. I saw the photo of you and Junko, so I figured that was your room. But something didn't add up. To even get to that room, you have to climb up a ladder. There's no way you would make a place like that your room if your legs were disabled. I see. So that's how you figured it out. <laughs> you might have a stupid looking face, but you sure are pretty smart. But why pretend that you're disabled? Because pitiful children are the most powerful, don't you think? Hmm... I don't know about that. I don't agree with that logic, but I can see where the game is trying to take it. Huh? Monica's home life was terrible. She didn't feel like she belonged there. But Monica was more brilliant than her brother or her father. And they hated her for it. But then... I thought of a way I could counter their neglect and cruelty. All I had to do was become a pitiful figure. Then, I would have the whole world sympathy. So, the whole thing with Haiji never actually happened. Okay. He's still a very, 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 very creepy pedophile. The wheelchair was inconvenient, of course. Thanks to the act, I acquired much. I even acquired the Warriors of Hope. And Papa and Big Brother were a little nicer to me too. They thought they were the reason I ended up in a wheelchair, so they really pitied me. You tricked everyone all this time. You... You're the worst. You're more awful than all the other kids. Mm-hmm. Maybe. But to survive in that horrible world, I had to be. When Monica talks, everyone freezes. When Monica smiles, everyone stops smiling. So 
for Monica, the outsider, the eyesore, to survive in that house. She did what she had to do. Hmm, so she was just so despised before that because because of that, that's why she made herself disabled to at least be like not looked down upon, but at least like listened to, I guess. I wanna ask you. The Papa and Big Brother you mentioned. Are they from the Toa family? Oh, so you know that much too. See, Toko? It wasn't a hallucination. The ghost was real. I it's a coincidence. Delusion and fantasy with a little coincidence mixed in. It's true. Fantasy and reality overlap sometimes. I'm so desperate to make my fantasies real. <laughs> How long is this going to go on for? I think it repeats. That's why whenever I think about the girl I like, I strip her naked in my mind and pose her. Okay, now it's not the time for that talk. Silent mode. <laughs> so you're the one who made Kamaru come here by using that skinny white-haired boy, right? Why would you do something that could compromise your own plan? My plan? Oh, you mean the children's paradise. Well, personally, I don't really care about that. Monica has a much more important job to do. Does it have something to do with the successor? Yep, that's right. The successor is the most important thing to Monica. And for that plan, I wanted you to come this far, Big Sis. Are you calling me? Oh wait, did she call her big sis before in the very beginning, like in the prologue? After all, you are essential for the successor. Oh, to get revenge for the brother, yeah. Huh? Just what I'd expect from the little sister of the ultimate hope. You're so impressive, Meow. Completely different than when I first met you. Now, you have the face of a savior. Savior? Kamaru has the face of a high school girl you'd find anywhere. But who cares about any of this? Hurry up and hand over the key to Master's room. Key? Monica doesn't have anything like that. Don't play dumb. Hand it over. Like I said, I don't have it. You want to strip search me to make sure? Monica doesn't mind. But weren't you guys in a hurry? Is that the thing that controls the ship? You want to break this controller, right? You want to stop Mr. Monokuma, right? It, is that... Monica Toa, Chief Executive of Toa Group Robotics Branch. Huh. This is the magic that Monica invented. And as long as Monica has her magic, Monica can control the Monokumas and the Monokuma kids. Yeah. You're the one brainwashing them, too? Huh? You didn't know that? Hmm. This idiot rat slipped up. In that case, I'll make you hand over the controller by force. And after that, I'm going to make you hand over the key to Master's room with even more force. <laughs> hmm. No, I don't think that's possible. After all, I have a trump card. You and your entire family does. Trump card? A super big, awesome battle robot the Toa Group Robotics Branch created. That is Monica's masterpiece. It's so much better than the other Warriors of Hope robots. It's this entire building, and it's gonna transform, I guarantee. So, Mr. Kurokuma, I leave it to you. Hell yeah! Leave it to me, Monica! Mage Robot Black 
Spiritant. It always goes so by so fast. And you control it while on it. Alright. How does this one fight? Black bear, white bear, hell nah. I'm my own bear. Uh, as expected of a final boss, this I'm one's stuck. different than the other robots. Are you fucking so kidding let's me? Do our best with the boom boom and beat this thing with a clam. Well, that's not how I would have said it, but nevertheless, I the vulgar one came out. I gotta aim for him. Okay. You sure try hard. You don't really want to save the adults that badly. Do you really want the burden of hope on your shoulders? You're joking. This is for the sake of forget his name. The priest guy, the adults will hate it. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh break. You're What the flying fuck? Watch out. It might be a nuclear warhead. I or Was it nuclear? I'm Okay. Fine. This is for the sake of I forgot his name. Um that here Masaru. What? Why did it do that? Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Okay, one more on the back. This is for the sake of. What is name? The priest guy. The adults will hate it. Okay, do I? I'll just use a flame then to take that out. Bad boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Okay. Break. There we go, Julie? Jesus Christ. Alright, burn. Uh oh. That made it go faster, I guess. What are these? What the fuck are these? Watch out! It might be a nuclear warhead. Or was it nuclear? Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Okay. This is for the sake of the sage guy. The one who got crushed by his heavy burden. Seriously, I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that one. Huh? You bitch. Watch out! It might be a nuclear warhead. Mm-hmm. I'll take that. Ah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Ah, come on. It's just a this is for the sake of what's her name? Um the fighter who fell victim to the come male on. gaze. Wait, that fell victim to the male gaze? Whatever the fuck. Okay. Let's go at it again, huh? Fuck! What? That Watch just landed out. as I'm running for it. Yeah, you know the 
Oh. Okay, that didn't really work, but oh well. I think I got both of them there. Watch out! It might be a nuclear warhead, or was it nuclear? Yo, I, can I give yeah. Thanks to my fam with a sick rap. Oh, that nearly killed me because I walked into it almost. This is for the sake of. I forgot his name. Um, that hero guy who got bullied by a dog. Okay, I think this is the last time. Because the music's changed. Level up. Oh, I didn't get to hear that line fully. Yeah, sure, I'll save. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought... I thought she went out the window. Here we go. Huh? You're kidding me. Monica... lost? That's right. Now, be a good little girl and just give up. No! No! Is Monica gonna be killed? I don't wanna die. No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. No! That's no good! If this controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail! Good! And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor! That's enough! Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good! Oh. Fine. Oh, I thought she was just gonna break it. If I break this, the Monokuma stop and the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? And then this uprising will be over. Should be, but does breaking automatically mean that everything stops? I feel as if like there should be a force quit and then you break it. But oh well. But that was well, it was kind of easy. Is it really okay? <laughs> Ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Or would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? Just like your older brother. <laughs> I, I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Master. <laughs> so let's hurry up and end this. Uh, um, it's really okay to break this, right? It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas, and the brainwash gets lifted. Right. Why is she smiling? And silent. Break the controller. Don't break the controller. Can you... Why is this a split decision? Huh, interesting. saw after that was fireworks fireworks heralding me as a savior yeah a savior oh my god the savior of toa city it's all thanks to me i became hope the hope of the adults who were treated so cruelly. Fireworks. Blessing me. It's all... Thanks to me. Everything... Is all my fault.
Okay. I'm not gonna break the controller. I... I wonder... Is there a possibility that you can break the controller over and over and over again? I don't know. Don't break the controller, I guess. Yeah, because she handed it over so easily that I was like... Hmm... Sorry, something is concerning me. Concerning you? Concerning you? Concerning or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesi hes No need to hesitate. <laughs> Just break the controller. End this already. You're, you're right. Hey, Katoko! Still only the surviving you? kid. Why are you here? Don't! Don't break the controller! Why? What happens? Hey, are, we, are we gonna blow up? Hey! Kotoko, you came to save me! Kotoko, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck... Okay. Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Huh? <laughs> I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing... Be bad. If it's just the Monokumas, that's fine. But the kids, we lose all the friends we made. If that happens, I'm gonna be all alone. What friends? You brainwashed them. But even then, I don't want to be alone. Please, pretty, please don't take my friends away. Kotoko's right. Don't break that controller. If you don't, I promise, I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko, why are you saying such mean things? We're friends. D no, we're not! You're just a traitor who killed her own friends! Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again. Shut up! Be quiet! Die! What's going on? <laughs> Just let those idiots fight. Hurry up and break the controller. N no! Stop! Please, leave me just some hope. I'll even settle for just a little. W what hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? Miss Kumara Noyuki, please listen to Monica's request too. Please. Make the right choice. If you don't choose right, you're gonna replay this moment over and over. So make the correct choice and end this properly. Correct choice? I have to decide to break the controller or not to break the controller. Well, shit, what happened? Well, now I don't know. <laughs> if I choose break the controller, will everything just burn up into a ball of fire again, or? I, I, I want to see both. I want to see if this is a different event, then. If I get the exact same event, fuck it. Oh, I'm magically back after breaking the controller. It was the exact same thing. Don't break the controller. I wish it had been something else, but oh well. Kamaru? What happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty, lame penal colony? Didn't you want to be everyone's hope? Just like your brother? I... I... Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. Uh, hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? Right. Give 
it up. Watch the controller get destroyed. Shut, shut up! You be quiet! Toko, what should I do? I will leave that decision to you. But, but, uh... However, because I'm leaving it to you, I will share the responsibility as well. So, just do what you think is best. What I think is best. Hmm. Break the controller. Or don't break the controller. Alright, this one's at least a little bit different, but I still don't know which is technically right, and that's exactly what this game does. Fuck it. Uh... I know this is right. I know this is the right choice, but god damn it. Okay. Okay, game. Don't give me any chance at all to know a difference. Just... Don't break the controller every time, I guess. I... don't think it's a good idea to break it. At least... not right now. Right? Good! Thank you, Big Sis. Thank you so much for not breaking Monica's special controller. Jeez, which side are you on? It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. Are the other kids coming back? Cast? Hmm. He'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. See? His hand's on the door! found you, Monica. See? Just like Monica said! Bullseye! We do have a sibling connection after all! Y you Why are you here? Big Brother came to save Monica, right? They're being so mean. Everybody's bullying Monica. Remember... If you lay a hand on her, I'll still beat the shit out of you, even though she's evil as fuck. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Big brother, save Monica. Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Who the hell's gonna save you? The big brother? Stop calling me that! You're not my sister! You're just the old man's mistake. I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Okay, time to attack on Titan his ass and rip open his neck. His nape. Why? Why are you being so mean? Monica's just a child. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her place. And now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please, stop it, brother. I'm scared. Uh, uh, Mr. Haiji. He doesn't so deserve Haiji, or Mr. Monokumas. <clears throat> huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! Please stop! If you destroy the controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted. I won't be able to create the successor. I won't be able to inflict despair on the world. How crazy are you? Now hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I, I, I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! This has got to be the reason why everything just go blows up because he's got something in tow. What's going on? Yeah, I'm just gonna not break the controller this time around. I'm glad 
you understood us. What is this? Why are you siding with those brats? I I'm not siding with them or anything. Did you forget what they did? If that's the case, then shut up and listen. Listen? the people outside were watching they saw you defeat monica's robot what you did this didn't you you're filming all of this huh monica has no idea they're still watching they're waiting for you to destroy that controller everyone expects it from you they're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare you showed us hope. We were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. It's all thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. But if you still can't make up your mind, I'll just have to help you choose. Mm. Tell them what you've done. Everything. The whole truth. Then there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine. I'll talk. It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. A prank, huh? Wait, what? That was a prank? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad someone else was just like, well, hold on. <laughs> oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. And around then... Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Big Sis Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Take advantage? By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, big brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? <coughs> and I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other warriors of hope were just bonuses. D don't make stuff up! Fix this love this all! Love? What are you talking about? There's no way someone would love you. Your own parents didn't even love you. Uh, uh. Enough. Just keep talking. I I'm sorry, I got it! Stop, big brother! At first, Big Sis Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass-produce machines, so that she could use them for the tragedy. That's why, to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas. Gotcha. Okay. Concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told him I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. And the adults actually bought that story? No, it's more like... We turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious. With a genius intellect. 
As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, he let her do whatever she wanted. This brat took advantage of her position and started mass producing these monsters on her own. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how they just, like, the design just was adopted into this. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Jinko so happy. She started using them for the incident. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Who did that voice? Jesus, it sounded like they were putting on a voice. Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like a business opportunity. This little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. Y you made them and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. Hm. Just what a filthy demon would do. We didn't have a choice. We were in too deep. If we went against the Despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned. Or extinct. Anyways, Toa group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the Despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because they were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. Those idiot adults didn't know that, so they worshipped Toa Group like they were saviors. But you better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. But the good times had to end eventually. Just when things were going to get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. Mm hmm all thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary, but Papa just said it's over, and gave up, like all the fickle wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. You couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the Warriors of Hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. Mm. I was so happy. It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. I guess there are people that just aren't... That are just born evil. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Big Sis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Oshima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? 
more. <laughs> Matter of fact, okay. Huh? Causing war. If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? War? What are you talking about, brat? You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Break the controller and start a war. Ah, gotcha. Wait, why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Monaco, liar! You told me to talk! I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies! Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now! Huh? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. No, but I've seen the truth. I have the all-seeing eye. I know exactly what happens in the future. It starts off with one explosion, and then it, and then it moves to another part of the city, and then it just works from its way from the ground up. I was trying to structure that in my head, but I started speaking before I had it even in my head, but oh well. I'm not gonna break the controller, thank you very much. Wait, no! I can't break it yet! So, you're taking this little brat's word over mine? Yes. She is literally so much better at everything than you. Of course! <laughs> it's not like that! But please, wait! I remember! Remember what? A while ago, Monica and Carl Kuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case, this is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode. Getting rid of all kids. And literally stopping people from being able to repopulate. Explode? If you destroy the controller, the Monokuma stop, but all the Monokuma heads will blow up! And then, headless children everywhere! Oh, come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made up bullshit? Like that. She betrayed the warriors of hope. She could do it without even feeling guilty about it. So, so mean, Kotoko, making me out to be the bad guy. Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed. Bitch. <laughs> okay. A rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. It's interesting to, like, just hear a 10-year-old call another 10-year-old bitch. <laughs> no, I'm serious! I heard it! And actually use it correctly. That's enough. Destroy that thing already. N no! Never, ever destroy that controller! I'm not breaking it. I've learned my lesson. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. Can someone just please knock him the fuck out? But even if there's a small chance they're not, I can't do it. Kids wearing those helmets. They're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault. Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? Huh? 
After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly. Even if they all died, they had it coming. They're kids. You've seen what they did to us. They deserve it. You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Maybe I am. But how could I not be? After what they did to us. Not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I've been through. Listen. Listen outside. The screams of the adults. The ones who lost everything. Our loved ones were butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. Yes, but this is also still being televised right now. So they can see... Well, maybe there's no audio. Who knows? Because normally when there's a big screen like that, there's no audio and it's just visual aid. But... You're hearing the threats that there is a possibility that everything... That every child that has a uh, mask on is a walking time bomb. Because it's just a matter of time before I break this thing. Or don't break it. So, we are literally limited to whether or not I decide to snap this thing. Or not. Simple as that. Ooh. But you were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> you are you're our hope please don't betray us destroy the controller please please just end this for us we just want it to be over <laughs> hold on a minute you can't fool me me No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Monica. Hmm? Are you talking to Monica? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. What? If children are killed, what would Future Foundation do when they found out? They think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. That's the idea, isn't it? Nope, that's not quite it. Not quite it, but it, 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 it it's close. Because it won't just end with a war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world. They'd learn about the war in Toa City, and they'd come charging in. Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko Enoshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She can't be... She's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. Hmm, I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? Child victims have quite an impact on people. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. Hmm. Good thinking. I mean, adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? Wait, then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. Mm-hmm. Only those without children, and only, uh, the people with 
uh, people that they could harm to fuel up even more fire. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Kamaru's transformation was her own doing. Uh... I did none of these. I only aimed at the eyes of regulars, and the one that they have here with an actual, uh, hero of justice or whatever they were called, the mech, it, that's not even the weak spot for that one. It's in the head. That delicate little girl maturing, growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. At times, hope can be a terrible burden. It can be a drive to hurt others, just like now. That's... What did you think would happen if you gave people who watch their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! They will turn into demons. Demons who live for revenge. You see? Just listen to them. It's not like I haven't heard that one before. Kill? But why? <laughs> that controller for so long i mean i wish the animation could have been a little bit different beyond just like the exact same animation with just something different that's audio what those people out there don't care whether or not the heads of the children are going to explode rather they sound pretty excited about it don't you think that's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons mm, gotcha and I was wondering, because obviously, like... So, there there should be audio, right? Yeah, there, there has to be audio. If they switch from destroy to kill, yeah. They're, they're perfectly okay with killing millions of kids. And this is all your fault, Big Sis. M me It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault. Miss Kamaru Naegi. What are you talking about? It's not Kamaru's fault, it's yours! Wait! Listen to what she's saying! If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away. She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself. Then she would have her war. No, that wouldn't do. That would not be worthy of the successor, now would it? Mm-hmm. I was wondering I was wondering when she was gonna do this revelation for the two of them. Uh Haiji might actually know this already. Maybe, because he hasn't had a reaction yet. She stood Never mind. Monica stood up. That's not important right now. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? So anyways, what are you gonna do, huh? How are you going to end this? Are you going to kill the children and play the savior? Or are you going to spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die. And you're going to kill them. <laughs> now it's about time you made your final choice. The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely! I mean, I have to choose Don't Break the Controller, because... I mean, the adults have... I mean, well, I guess the Monokumas are what's really con killing. It's just the kids that are celebrating over the top of the uh, dead bodies. Yeah, I can only really not break the controller. No. No, it's impossible. I... I can't break it. No. You're gonna break it, alright. 
Monica knows. Huh? You're gonna destroy the controller, and then the children's heads are gonna explode. And that's when the war begins. And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair, will be born. Y you don't know that. And like, there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the first place. There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Junko. Kotoko, when did I ever say that Monica wanted to be the successor? Uh Pomaru is going to be the successor. Is that is that it? Huh? Monica's not the one who's going to be the successor. It's going to be Miss Komaru Naegi. <gasps> Paint the world with despair. That's what Big Sis Junko always used to say, you know? What could be more despair-inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? So, the one who's going to murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. I've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to Future Foundation. Oh, you little shit. <laughs> with Monica's video message as a bonus set. Monica already declared that Miss Komaru Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Junko! What? what do you mean? Why would I... Like I said, don't listen to her. She's just trying to keep you from destroying it. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Big brother, you've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. You shitty little brat! Hurt her again, I'll stab you. Enough! Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself. But if we do that, the children will die. What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this massacre. What about all the adults who died? Are we just going to forget about them? Don't go dragging us into your revenge. Kamaru has nothing to do with this. That's right. There's no reason to kill them. You don't have to be a part of this one bit. No need. No reason, no relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request. To get Miss Komaru to want revenge, I needed help from her parents. Oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> now come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. Oh, that's why she said mom and dad. You too, mom and dad. The climax is gonna start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshina. <laughs> what, what do you mean, revenge? Are you ready for this? Take a potty break? Get a list of insults ready for Monica? Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender to despair, unable to suppress the urge to kill? Then I'll show you! Video feed. Yep. Uh-oh. I'm either gonna see them hung up, or something worse. Komaru Makoto. What? More bodies again? You don't have to show them, you know. I'm already well aware how terrible you are. After all this, you're still showing off killing adults? How crazy are you? Maru. She probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. Mm -hmm. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. And also backwards. Maru? Makoto? <laughs> Did 
you notice? She wrote the names of her children before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole life. Hmm. So it really is just us and Makoto. Lies. It's just a lie. Those bodies. No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Normally a dying message is something like writing the killer's name. Oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? I played with the bodies of your family like toys, and now you want to kill me, right? A little bit, but still a kid. No, wait! That's a lie! Well, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, nah, okay. Okay, Haiji. Shut the fuck up. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey, what are you... Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. Now, are you gonna just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you. That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! Listen, I'm not... I'm not opposed to just letting all the kids blow up. It's what happens after. Like, yeah, it sucks that all those kids who are just... Who, who just have their lives and unbeknownst to themselves, just... Unfortunately... But it's everything that happens afterward. You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Oh, shut the fuck up. Destroy that controller and finish it. Kill them all. They haven't killed a single person. They've just donned the helmets and they're dancing over the dead bodies. That's it. Not just for your sake, for your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered. Hold on. We can't just do something like that. It's fine. Kamaru? If you want me to destroy it that much, I'll do it. I said hold on. Calm down and think carefully. Come Shut up! <laughs> Who cares anymore? No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world, I don't give a damn anymore. I don't give a damn. Kamaru? Toko, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> it's impossible. I. I can't become like Makoto. <laughs> This is all determined from the very start. The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. Only at the lowest point of despair can you reach hope. Fucking Nagito. Headass. I'm not breaking it. What the? Okay. First time ever controlling Toko. Destroy it! That's not how she really feels. 
I'm sure she's actually thinking that that she doesn't want to do it. Huh. How the hell could you possibly know that? I, I don't know how. I just know. I don't know. I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of escort. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. So, how about this? That's right! It's the key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside! Say, you wanna trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami! You're telling me to choose between Kamaru and Master? <laughs> now it's your turn to make a choice! I don't think it's as simple as Kamaru and Byakuya. I think it's the world and Byakuya. <laughs> I'm taking Kamaro home with me as well. What are you saying? You gotta make a choice, that's the rules. Who, who cares about your damn rules? You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice. I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind. Both are... Both are important to me. So... So... I'll definitely protect both! What the heck? That's just unreasonable. Enough already. Just hand over the controller. I wonder, like, it. why? Why was he okay with hitting her, but not? I'll never hand it over. Do you want me to hurt you even more? Hurt? That means nothing to me. I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends. But I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend. So I'll never hand it over. Shut up. In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! No! We're the ones who are out of control! Ow! Let go! I won't let go! Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, what the fuck is that sound? What? Huh? Is this Future Foundation? <laughs> no, no one can operate it beyond... What? Why is it? Why is it moving? Monica has no idea. The only ones who can control Big Bang Monokuma are you and Mama. You are the ones who programmed it that way. How? I thought I was going to stop right in front of her, but no. So, just despair, huh? The, the despair of death. Okay. Both of them get crushed to death. Both dis ultimate despairs get crushed. Oh. <laughs> that hurts. Wh what? You, you hit me! My hand hurts. <laughs> but that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? Now come on. Hit me back. Remove the glasses because we don't want those to break. Isn't it obvious? It, it makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... I don't know what to do in situations like this. So just for now... If you hit me, we're square, right? So, hit me. Fine. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty strong. Jeez. I thought I thought so too. I thought that sounded thicker than <laughs> Toko's. You're right. 
my hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. I, I was waiting for the second you're right to come about, but it never came. Yeah. We're the same. There we go. That's what I've been waiting for this entire playthrough, but it's just these two. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. <laughs> and we still don't know if... If those were really your parents... We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do right now? Have you decided? Yeah. I have. I want to protect both. I'm not going to play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. This sounds different. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. What's going on? The thing looks like it's targeting us. And I feel as if like this is uh, a whole other thing. So I think I should end this episode here. I don't know what's going to happen. So thank you for coming out. Uh, You know what? This might, this might be the end. This might be one grandiose episode. Who fucking knows? I'll figure it out as I go along. What should we do? Fight. I'll fight. Okay. I decided. I'll fight to protect everyone. Toko, will you help me? Isn't it obvious? It's normal for friends to help each other. Oh, what the fuck? All right, this has got to be the most. Kamaru, let's show them. You and I. What is this? The power of the ultra dangerous. Sisters. How? Oh. Huh? What's that? Well, you told You're me to think about it, so I did. What? Not satisfied? Not good enough for you? <laughs> oh God. What? So how about we try to talk? What? How did? How is that still shocking me? Uh, knockback. I wish the fucking camera wouldn't be doing this. What is happening? Why is the camera immediately on the eye? Break. What? What are you supposed to do there? And seriously, I'm Oh, it's only one fucking circle? I thought I thought the circle was the only thing that you yeah, could right. use to protect it. it. Looks like there's some meaning behind it. Uh blue, I have to break that. You're fucking joking. Now it's 3. All right. Red. Okay, I have to burn it, I guess. Uh Leave it to me. All right. Stop the camera. 
Jesus, fuck! I, 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 could I have kept burning it or something? What is that? White? What? I don't know what color that is. All right, yellow. Well, that's a lot of paralyzed bullets that I missed. See, now it's only two. Okay, knockback. This is really... Dumb. What the fuck was that about? Okay, what's white, though? I don't know what that is. Red. What is white? Ah! This. What? What's this? Okay, now it. Oh, you're fucking joking. How are you supposed to identify it in time like that? Uh... Seriously, what... Is this? I don't fucking know what that's supposed to be. And the camera is the fucking worst part. Okay, break. I don't know if that technically does anything. Alright, red again. Seriously, this fucking camera is annoying as all hell. Oh, hello. That's different. Knockback first. Uh, then burn. Okay, should you just not concern with knocking back then? Blue. Ah! Come on! You're joking, this boss fight sucks. Okay. Paralyzed bullets, back to break. Come on. Uh, knock back again. Goodbye! I won't lose. Really, that didn't... I won't give up anymore. I won't abandon it. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't know what this is. Anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. This town is doomed. I'll fall into despair. Is that just supposed to be no, free damage for them? Damn it, Kamaru. You go, girl. Burn. Doesn't reach. Gotcha. Oh, that's... Okay. So you have to trigger that first and then... Knock back. Okay, I didn't realize that I could still go for that then. Paralyze, come on. 
I'll take these. What's the fucking white? Seriously, this is so fucking stupid. Okay. I don't even know if I'm doing any damage, per se. Can I have my knockback bullets? Oh, no, that's just health. Alright. Burn. Oh, wait. There's some knockback. Okay, knockback again. The right one's always closer for some odd reason. Uh, that's break, right? Run away! Uh huh. God damn it. Okay, yellow. Over here. Okay. Oh, I got more of those bullets somehow. Okay, break bullets. Come on. Okay, knock back again. If this continues and, like, I still have to figure out what that other bullet is, like, it is, like, a dance bullet or something, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. What is this? See? Okay. Landed it in the... Blue. Oh. Oh, the final music, too. Nice. And I are not alone. As long as there are friends who help each other, there's no need to despair at all. Don't know how this is happening, but oh well. I finally found hope. A hope to call my own. Right, Kamaru? <laughs> yeah, me too! Oh, a hope bullet! Hope lives on! Cool! I knew it! I knew there was a reason not to trust it! Is our hope. But I was also being controlled by Shirokuma, who was trying to get me to believe in myself, garner more hope, to try and sur make everyone survive, protect the adults, which was trying to break, it was trying to help the adults and everything, and break the controller. Huh. Damn, good on you, game. Oh, and she survived. She's really going to be paralyzed now. And now it's over. 
It's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just... It's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair! Nothing has changed. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Naegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Oh, forceful. Huh? Hand it over. At this point, I suppose I have to compromise. With no more hostage, future Foundation will come, and the remnants of despair will follow. Maybe it's not going exactly to plan, but maybe a small-scale war will start. I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two, does it? This town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Well, I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Well said. Don't mess with me. An ending without hope or despair? Monica will definitely... Uh oh. Yeah! It's gonna fall! We're gonna fall! <laughs> I, I gotta get out of here! So, why are the girls the only ones that got to live? Katoko and technically Monica, but I think she's gonna end up dying, but oh well. Why only Katoko? Hey. I better not hear you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. Huh? You must have noticed by now. I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. Okay. Bye bye forever. Brother, don't you want to take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You weren't satisfied with this, right? You weren't just gonna walk away. He's completely not here anymore. He's he was like, hoping for hope, really, but I don't want it to end that ain't like gonna come. Either. I was kind of hoping that he would be so out of it that he'd just trip on the rubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only that? So this is what despair feels like. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if the end, if that was going to continue or not. Isn't that... 
Whatever it is, there's really no point worrying about it now. <laughs> More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. It's literally the ground that we're walking on to try and save him. What happened? I literally don't know where to end this episode or these end episodes, so I'm still just going along with it. I, I know I can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko, I... I'm staying in this town. Huh? Hopeful is the name of that one. Retries took me four times. I don't even remember where I failed. Uh, but I, I cleared all the report cards and I found the hidden kids. And I still got a B for that? Well, fuck you too then. Ugh. Alright. To achieve success right to the very end, it appears I had underestimated your prowess. What? What are you upset about? I'm trying to apologize here. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I got a uh, 300 bonus mono coins. Not that they're that important now. I don't think. And with that, chapter five has come to an end. And is to be continued. This horror will grow mild. I got two achievements for completing one chapter. Why? Maybe you like get one achievement for like beating the game. And then, like, another achievement for beating the game on normal. And then probably one on despair mode as well. Oh, well. I'm, uh... I'm happy to leave this episode here. Because I just don't know what can happen. It's a long-ass episode. And... I really just don't know if the end credits scene and all this talking could be really long. Really short. I'll find out afterward. But for now... I'll leave you with one final message, in that being, have a nice day.